Well, hello, this is Darren at Treasure Life Family Farms. We're going to try to change the oil on the Gator TS today. It's a four by two. And it's got about 340 some hours on it, which is close to probably about a hundred more than when we bought it. And it's time to change oil, at least we think so. We found that the oil check and fill cap is here, but I haven't found anything else yet. And then I went to look online for video and I don't see any of them. So I'm gonna crawl under there and see if I can find an oil filter that looks like the one we bought for it and a plug to drain the oil. And then we'll go from there. Maybe this will be like the premier how-to YouTube video on changing the oil on the Gator TS. At least I haven't found another one yet. So here we go. All right, a little more uh, information on the oil change on the Gator TS here. I did find the filter and the plug, and it looks like you have to come in from underneath, basically under the center of the machine. So I'm gonna sweep up a little bit in the back and go under from there, and I'll show you where the plug is. And then the filter's right above the plug, so it looks like all the oil should come out the same fairly small hole that they leave for you down there and uh, into the drain pan. Uh, I still have to, now I know where the filter is, so I just need to find out if I can get my hand in there to take it off and, and switch it. So that's the uh, update. The next step again is to go underneath and I'll show you from under there where the plug and the filter is. All right, we're <clears throat> underneath from the back. And from here, this doesn't look too bad. From the side, it actually didn't look too good. And it appears that we can bring that plug out. I brought the full stack of, of uh, metric wrenches, not knowing which one, but it looks like that was a 19 more loose. And uh, 18 won't do it, so it must be a 19. That's the plug, and then right. Sorry, I was gonna try and show the filter. The filter's right above it. Uh, I kind of think it is. Anyways, I'll try to show the filter better once I get going there too. But I'm gonna pull that plug out. That should drop the oil, and then we'll work on the uh, filter second. All right. So there's your matching uh, oil filter numbers, size. And depth and everything is the same on this one, which matters more than it did on the zero turn. So, to get it out of there, it's higher up on the engine than you would expect. And I was able to get it by hand. I was looking for some channel locks. Can't find them. I don't know where I put them, but uh, that was going to be my first choice. Couldn't find them, so I just grabbed them, grabbed it real hard key to it was to reach up underneath of it, kind of Joe, Bo Joe Biden style, get way up under it, get the fingers, like these three fingers on it, and turn it. And I was able to move it just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And eventually it started to move, so I got it off. I'm going to hand tighten this one. So it's higher up on the engine than you'd think, given where it's at, right over around the corner here but uh, other than that uh, if you're the stuck I don't have a lot of suggestions for you good luck with it I guess so I'll try and get this one back on and we'll fill it back up well, all right we got 343 hours on this one Got the key on otherwise that would not be on this is where just right behind the driver's seat the oil will go in. I don't know if I'm talented enough to do that and hold the camera. Let's see. Just all I can see is my hand, so we'll cut it short there and put the oil in.
sounds like when it's running. I'm going to check the oil and see if uh, the two quarts that we have is seemingly the right amount. And then we'll be done with this and I'll point out the grease zerks as many as I can find after we're done. All right, we're about to finish up back here. Uh, I found two zerks in the back axles just for some couplers back there. I'm not sure what they are. I guess that's what they do. And then these ones on the turning spindles here on each side of the front. And I can't find any other ones. So maybe there aren't any. Maybe I need to uh, look harder. Uh, if I find some more, I'll include them in a future video. But so far, just the four. And the oil change is done. I put in a couple quarts. It seems to check a little high after two quarts, which seems odd, but... Uh, I guess that's the way it is. And I did go to full synthetic on uh, the Gator this time. So we'll try to keep it full synthetic in the future. 10W30, three quarter wrench for the plug. The filter is hard to get at as anything you'll ever change. And uh, four grease zerks. That's what I found on the TS Gator so far. So uh, like my video and uh, hopefully it will uh, be helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye.